Bad Bad Leroy Brown backstage, aftermath of the 2009 Arnold Classic. We have a new champion, Kai Green, and here to dissect the competition is none other than the pro creator, Hani FST7, the Persian Prince <laughs> Rambod. How's it going, Larry? Good, good, good. Now, you, you were at the show, you had, uh, Kai was first, Victor was second, Branch was third. Is there any way that you would have had the, the competition reversed in any type of order? You know, I think that Victor has got the best shape up there out of the three that you just mentioned. Um, but I think if his conditioning was a little bit better, then he would have been able to, to edge out a win tonight. I think due to the fact that his conditioning was about 75 to 80 percent of what it was the Olympia when he played second to Jay, I think that, you know, he really, he, he was lucky he probably didn't go down as low as third. But I think that it was really fairly judged and, you know, Kai looked great. Everybody thought that you know he was going to either pull out or didn't you know wasn't going to make it, but he did, and he was able to show up and really, and he looked good. What, what was the surprise of the show? Because I honestly did not have uh, Mo Masawi in sixth place. I thought based on sheer volume, Gustavo Bedell had him, but I may be wrong. What do you think was the surprise of the show in the top six? You know, I I, I agree with you. I think that Mo that was a little bit. Uh, you know, um, I think there's a couple people that could have been in, in that sixth place spot. I think uh, Dennis James looked good. I think um, the Russian Sergi, uh, Sergi, he looked good. I think there's a couple other people who definitely could have been, you know, battling for that spot. Um, I think it was a surprise to more than a couple people that he was up there. I thought that he was definitely off of where he was at the uh, Ironman both last year and this year. What about Branch Warren finishing third? Uh, Branch Warren, I think that, you know, between him and Kai, those guys were kind of got the freaky physiques, you know. I think that it was a good call. I thought that he looked good. I thought he looked like he did it when he placed second at this show a couple years back. So it was definitely something that um, I think that was well deserved, you know. I mean, the crowd loves him. He's a freaky guy. But at the same time, you got to remember his shape is, not, you know, 100%, you know, versus someone like uh, Victor Martinez either. Now, with with posing being what it is, or a lot of people being for classical posing, and I'm one of those guys that's for classical posing, but with a little bit of flair to it. And I used to down Kai Green's routine, but it's a totally different monster when you see it up close and live. And I actually, and that's no exaggeration, I got chills in my spine when I saw him uh, pose. What did you think of that, that unique flexibility that he displayed? No, I think it was um, better than it's been. I think in the past he's gone off a little bit to the far left with it, kind of going a little extreme with the, the artsy side, where this time he didn't do that as much. I think that he did more shots and he was definitely better, in my opinion, because I think some people would really like the artistic side and some people like more the entertainment value, like a Melvin Anthony brings. I've always been more of the entertainment guy, where I like Melvin's routine better, but tonight he kind of went in the middle where he had tons of flexibility, a lot of good shots, and he was able to kind of hit that middle sweet spot where he's able to show the artistic side, but also hit the poses. Where do you think Kai, if he had this shape, at last year's Olympia, where do you think he will fall into? Uh, I think it's kind of hard to say because I think that he was pretty close to where he was at last year. Um, I think that it was just obviously you had Dexter and Phil in there, so he was a little bit bigger this year, but I, it's really hard to say. I would definitely say he would be up in the top five. In what order, it'd be hard to say because you got to see him next to those other guys that weren't here tonight. All right, well, he's called it. FST7, the Persian Prince, Hani Rambod. Thank you. I like your site, I really do. You do? Yeah, and I've been doing FST7 sometimes, but I'm a complete bitch and I stop <laughs> after like five at sets. Least, at least you're honest, bro. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on an extra two sets <laughs> after I work on an extra two slices of pizza. Holla!